So we're looking at design, regulations and standards. So these are ways in which we can protect our designs from people copying them, for example. Also, the standards in which we have to design them to, to make sure that they are safe and worthy for the public to use them. The first one we're going to look at is copyright. So make sure that you can remember the copyright symbol. It may be asked as an exam question. What copyright does, it protects you from legal protection, mainly for things like books, photos, music, video software, instruction manuals, etc. So if somebody took your work, if you made a jingle or some part of a track on an album and someone took that from you, you could sue them if you had a copyright took out on it for legal protection. Okay. The next one we're going to look at is something called registered design. Now, this is the protection really for the appearance and the decoration of the design. Okay, You can have it for up to 25 years, but it doesn't include working parts. So one good example of a registered design is actually the shoe Crocs. Okay, Now, the actual 3D geometric shape of the croc cannot be copied because it's registered so it's been protected in that way so it's protecting it for its 3d geometric shape its appearance and its decoration the next bit we're looking at is european conformity whether or not we'll be in this by the time next year i'm not sure but essentially it's looking at the standards that we have to meet for europe so that thinks about things like health and safety has it been designed in an environmentally friendly way? Now, British standards, and the way to remember this logo, there's a B on the top, an S in the middle, and then it overall looks like a love heart. These are normally harder to meet than European conformity. Okay, So, it's an industrial and governmental standard. It's kite marked to say it's made to quality, and it's used on hundreds, maybe thousands of products like helmets, drain covers, even door handles have been standardised to British standards. If you go in a public building, most door handles will be the same, just to make sure that they are safe, they can be accessed by different people of different heights, and also they're normally rounded to protect people if they fall over and hurt themselves on them. So British standards is basically a code in which a product has to meet to be used within society, etc. Now this one you're probably familiar with, is trademark so if you remember it's a circle TM for trademark in the middle it's legal and protection uh, brand identity so it's protecting the brand so you might see this on your PS4 games console um, games you might see it on a lot of food products etc you might see it on clothing but essentially if you trademark something that is your brand and no one can take that away from you so if someone used the word boss in their company and there's a lawsuit about this lately Hugo Boss because they own that trademark can actually sue them for using their name the last one is a patent what a patent is is essentially if you come up with a great idea and you cannot yet make it but you have invented it it's to say that your idea can be protected for a certain amount of time and no one can take that away from you okay so for example, the 3D printer was patented, I believe, in the 70s. I might be wrong on that, but it was quite a few years ago that someone came up with that idea and then someone protected it for obviously when the technology had advanced, etc. So these are your design regulations and standards. Make sure that you learn all the symbols, especially copyright, British standards, European conformity and trademark. Understand what the differences between them and also get some information around them so that when you come to an exam question, you are confident in answering the question.